All right, let's turn off dampeners. I get no. This is not easy. I'm stuck. <sighs> Crap. Nope, 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 nope. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. What's up, everybody? A spare with a gun here from Sleepless Nights with another episode on Space Engineers. Uh, when we left off in the last episode, we kind of had our starting point and um, fashioned this little makeshift area base for the time being until I can either find a better spot or just expand it further. I'm not really sure which yet. Um, yeah, there is not a whole lot around us in terms of, you know, interesting places to set up a base. I kind of just set it up here because of where we crashed or where we landed. Um, I did receive reports that these ships out here may in fact be from not the expanded exploration or whatever that one, the EEM mod, uh, but the planetary installation type one, though it does seem like they're part of the space pirate faction, but apparently everybody was saying that um, it'll just add those in as factions, or as, as pirates, if it's not um, if it's not from them. But those, the EEM one controls space, is the idea, I guess. Um, but I don't know, that says mobile drilling platform, but... Kind of makes me think like that's still space because why would a mobile drilling platform be like up in the sky? That doesn't make a lot of sense to me. Courier I get. I don't know. Um, I've also been tinkering with, I haven't done, haven't gotten it to, to work quite right yet, um, but I have been tinkering with a script for this to kind of micromanage things. Um, but like I said, I thought I had it working, but last time I loaded up the world uh, for testing, it wasn't working. Now this is interesting to to me as well. Now this says unknown signal, where I believe normally it said something like um, a damaged pod or something. Maybe it said unknown, but there was a timer on it. And I actually loaded this, saved it as a separate file, and um, looted this, and I got a... I think it was the cow skin for the drill. Ow. Um, I always feel like I'm closer to the ground than I am. But, uh, so yeah, I don't know what's gonna happen with this. It should probably tell me that there's nothing in it now, if it's gonna work correctly. But I'm, I'm concerned about the timer not being there. Um, cause I'm wondering if this is how I broke it before. Oh! I actually got something else out of it. Well, that's cool. Um, so I may or may not keep a safe file of that. Um, and I do apologize, because I feel like in the last episode, the uh, grinding sound is really loud. Um, I wonder if there's a way for me to turn that down. Nope. Like, specifically. If there's a sound volume, music volume... I didn't know I had the music all the way off. Level of sound effects, voice chats off. Um, I guess we'll... I don't want to turn all of it down, but maybe we'll just... Just a touch. Because the, the grind sound was, like, really loud. So, I don't know what you guys think, but... It was pretty loud on my end, to me. The rest of it seemed fine, though, so... I don't know. But I'm gonna... I'm gonna tear this thing down. And then head back to the base. Alrighty, so we are back at the base, and I actually had a rather interesting thing happen. I was grinding down that little uh, pod, and it blew up in my face. So, I'm not sure what that was about. Um, I don't think I ground down the reactor, but... I don't know, never had them blow up before. I did get an enhanced grinder, though, so we're gonna throw... this guy in the assembler... And, ahem, 
Wait, why can't I, uh... Oh, disassemble. Duh. That would help. Alright. So, that's useful. I do like that, that when you... When you have something excess or something, you can you can tear it back down. Um, so I'm kind of thinking that I would like to locate a spot that we're okay with for more of a permanent setup, right? And based on both my spectator scouting of the world and the uh, view that we got when we were coming down on the on landing i feel like i remember over this hill was where the water or ice i guess because there's no real water in the game as yet let me let me just fly up for a second here so we have this little groove here that kind of looks interesting it's kind of like a um kind of almost looks like a where a ship might have crashed or something but i feel like it was over this hill i think Okay, mine. Yep, there it is. So, I'm a little torn because I don't feel like I want to. I want to go all the way over here. Nor do I know what I would do with like an, a a waterside base kind of thing. But I do kind of like this area. It's a little bit different from our last area where we had. Um, a big mountain cliff side. It's a bit more of a flatter cul-de-sac kind of area. Um, so I kind of like it. I just don't exactly know how I want to move everything or if I want to go through the process of moving everything over there is the one of the issues. Um, I'm also thinking about instead building some kind of small vessel to start things off because it would help us move around a little bit. Um, so I'm thinking I'll probably focus on some kind of small ship. Um, probably more utility based than defense or anything at the moment because all these things that are out here that are enemies kind of seem like they're avoiding us at the moment. Now, I know what you're thinking. Sparrow, what in the world kind of ship are you building? That is a great question. The answer is I have no freaking clue. <laughs> um, so what I was thinking, I'll explain what I was thinking, maybe that will help. What I was thinking was that I could connect up this ship with the connector to the main base and drain the power from that battery so that I could effectively transport the energy through the small ship. But that's not going very well. For one, uh, this ship design does not make any sense. For another thing, I was playing around with the connectors and it will not snap to this. And I don't really understand why exactly. It'll snap to this and I get that it won't snap to the side of the conveyors because they're not attachable, but it should connect to the, I don't know, the part that it's supposed to connect to. So I'm not really sure what's going on with that exactly. Um, and I tried to kind of do this like a merge block where I, I built it like this. That didn't really work. Now that's another option I probably should do is a merge block instead of the connector. It would actually make a lot more sense. Um, Except that I don't know how to merge it from a small to a large. That would require a bit of finagling. Uh, we do, however, have another signal source, which I'm going to go ahead... Do I have enough room? I might dump my inventory first. Uh, and we'll head over there, pick that up, and it'll give me some time to kind of rethink my strategy here when it comes to this derpy looking little uh, ship that has really no purpose yet. Alrighty, so we're coming up on the probe. So let's see if we can get something out of this one, too. Where are we at here? Hopefully it doesn't blow up on me this time. Nah, nothing. Okay. Um, ooh, another enhanced drill. I never turn down the construction component stuff and the, the steel plates because you just use so many of them. 
You know, something occurred to me, and that's that I may have tried to grind down the reactor with the uranium actually in it. That may have been the problem. So let me actually test this theory. Um, I don't know how minimal amount I can put in there. Let's see what happens. Nope, it just dropped the uranium. I really... Super Gremlin? What the heck is that? I really don't know what uh, caused that to blow up. You know what? I might make a save here. We might get a little bit gutsy and see if we can't commandeer one of these floating things out there. It'd be smarter to go after the uh, like mining driller type stuff, but... Eh, where did smarts ever get anybody? Alrighty, so we're trying this. Like I said, I have a save. There's there's also a hunchback dropship over there, which is probably a bit safer, but I want to go for the super gremlin. Now, the idea that I'm going for is to just make it to the ship and land on top, because I don't know how much hydrogen I really have. We still have two bottles, but I don't really know how long that's going to hold up. I also don't know if this is going to be able to be doable or not, to be perfectly honest, because of that. There's that. It has chain guns. I don't know where they are. I'm moving really fast. Ow! Ow, ow, ow! Health is critical. All right. I don't think this is gonna work, but you never know. No way, did I actually hit the turret? Nope, I didn't hit the turret, or I didn't hit both of them. <laughs> Alrighty, so I went ahead and just reloaded and ran back over here and dumped all my stuff because, in all honesty, me going and collecting the body and stuff, it wouldn't have really gotten us anything or gained us anything. Um, there's a mobile drilling platform over here, however, uh, when I respawned after trying to attack the super gremlin, which in all honesty shouldn't be too difficult to do, it had a couple of chain guns, but if I had been able to... I didn't really think I could damage it with the um, the assault rifle that much, but if I had managed to hit both of those top ones, I could have landed on it and it wouldn't have been that big of a deal. Um, however, when I respawned over here, it had a marker over in this direction for a military installation. Now, I don't know if it's actually there or not, or if it spawned in over time or something, but I thought it might be interesting to take a gander out here and see if we can't pick up anything on our radar. Again, I don't know if that was a time thing, like after a while it spawned, um, or what. Oop, boop, 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 boop. Almost forgot that I was not flying in no gravity. So I'm not seeing one out here. So I'm kind of thinking it was a time thing that I had been out and about for long enough that it, it spawned. So I think we're going to try and hit this mobile drilling platform and see if we have some better luck. Alrighty, so we're starting to close in on it a little bit. Um, I wanted to start recording just in case anything crazy happened. Again, my goal is to kind of get up above it so that I can land on top of it without having to uh, float for as little time as possible due to the fuel constraints. Now I don't know with this if it'll actually be armed with a turret. I'm expecting it to be since it's a pirate faction, but I don't know for sure. That kind of looks like an antenna, and I'm not getting shot at yet. Oh yes I am. I just wish I could see from where. Oh there they are. Ow, 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 ow. Is low. All right if I can get Right about there. Fuel low. Ooh, it's moving. Oh, it's moving. Woo! Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Ooh, we did it. We did it. All right. Now we're talking. Um, I didn't realize it was moving. That actually was. Oh, it has parachutes on it. That'll be nice. Okay, so there's the engines. I need to be able to get to something with a control terminal, I think, in order to hack it. Now, I did install the easier takeover mod. I forget exactly what it 
did, I think it was that instead of having to break every functional block and grind it down to a hack level, I think you just have to get the main flight seat or control console or something like that, I think. All right, we're going to cheat a little bit here. All right, so it looks like we've got interior turrets. Uh, wait, no, that's a that's a regular chain turret. What am I talking about? Don't mind me. I haven't played survival in forever. Alright, can I get... Ah! Collision boxes! I really don't want to scoot any further over. Alright, we're, we're not going to do that. Um, Let's see. That's a blast door block. You know what? Let's just, um... Let's just start grinding down through the center and see if we can't... Aha! There's a remote block. There's a cargo container. Oh, but I can't access it. Okay, because I don't have the... Alright, alright, alright. Um, I don't really want to go through the remote block, because I feel like that'll just make the thing plummet. Um, but at the same time, I don't know the layout of this thing. Alright. Ow. Timer block not what I'm looking for. I'm really afraid of um, destroying the entire thing. Oh, wait, there's an interior. Okay, so that's a door. Ooh, I forgot we're moving. Alright, let's turn off dampeners. I get... no. This is not easy. I'm stuck. <sighs> Crap. Nope, 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 nope. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Alrighty, so take two, um, and like I said, I just kind of reloaded instead of going and tracking down my body because it really wouldn't be very beneficial. Some people might see that as a little cheaty. I'm like, eh, I don't really care. I would just be go going and collecting what I had when I left in the first place. We're going to try this again, only this time, like I said, we're going to, ooh, what is that? Supply transport, that would probably be better, but they're all pirates, so... I'm gonna have to fight them no matter what but like I said this time we're gonna try and stay kind of out of range of the not range necessarily but out of the angle of the turrets and see if we can't just kind of drop down onto this thing <sighs> arguably way better of a breach this time um, let's see, where, where do we come in at? This was the remote block. Uh, this should be above the door, if I did my math right. Yeah, okay, that looks like it's above the door. So let's go down through the door. And I don't know if I have to grind down the rem Oh, I just realized something. We might have to deal with turrets. Like, interior turrets. I don't know if this has interior turrets or not. Ooh, this could be bad. Um, but yeah, I don't know if I need to grind down the remote block or not. I'm afraid to do that because I'm afraid it'll break whatever script is keeping it running. Ergo, we crash and die. Um, this is also not promising. Now that I'm looking at it, um, again, might seem a little cheaty, but I'm just gonna make a quick save before I break this, because I'm afraid I'm gonna go flying out of this area right here. Okay, so did a before and after save, and again, a lot of it's just trial and error. I just don't want to Okay, okay, we didn't fall. Oh, yes! Nice, 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 nice. Now is there... Nice, we got it. All right, cool. Um, all right, so let's test this out. So in theory, if I hack this, it should give me control of the whole thing if that mod is accurate. If the easier takeover mod thing is, is a thing. And I know I don't have to wind it all or weld it all the way back up, but whatever. Autopilot enabled. Okay. 
So, it let me access this. Now, can I get into the cargo? Access denied. Access denied. Okay. Huh. Huh. Alright. So, I wonder if it... Alright, I'm going to risk it since we have a save here. Okay. Aha! So the remote control block is what's considered the, um, whatchamacallit? It's basically what what's considered the control block, I guess, at this stage of the game. 54,000! Holy crap, man! Ooh, we scored on this! Alright, hold up. Um, so let's turn off the... Wait, are there oxygen generators? There should be. Oh, there they are. Oxygen generators. I don't see why those need to be running. It's just using up ice. There are hydrogen thrusters, so maybe that's why. <laughs> um, ooh, ooh, I'm flying. Okay. Uh, do we have a group for parachutes? Maybe? Because this, um, whoop. All right. Parachute. Right? Oh, okay. So let's group these to parachutes. Right? And then we'll add them to the hotbar for open, I guess. Now. Awesome. This is so cool. Alright, so we have... So none of the hydrogen ones are on anyway, so that's cool. Are we even moving forward? Oh, just barely. Wow, okay. Let's see if we can't do something about that. Oh, look, so there's another uh, thing that's way far away from our base right now. Um, I'm gonna try and bring this over to the drop base. Now, what I realized was that, um, what I realized was that the hydrogen thrusters were off because there, er there are no tanks on this vessel, uh, rather the generators were just powering the hydrogen thrusters directly. So there's that. Um, so yeah, in, in terms of keeping the thing afloat, the air ones are fine, or the atmospheric ones are fine. In terms of keeping it like moving, it didn't move at all. If you, I think I showed that before I cut out. So um, that's what got this thing moving a lot better. Now, at this range, we can probably kill this. Uh, now, the only problem here is I don't see any. Um, I don't see any landing gears. I see drills. I don't see landing gears. Um, open tide. Okay. So, yeah, don't exactly have a uh, landing pad <laughs> for this thing, so I'm not really sure how this is going to go. I'm going to try and turn off the dampeners and see... Ooh, now we're really picking up speed. Okay, um... I don't really know how the parachutes work either enough to know whether they'll be enough to stop us from crashing and dying. But it's kind of my only bet at this point. Until I can figure out something else to do with the thing. Um, let's turn the dampeners off again and try that. on. Let's just deploy the parachutes because I don't know. Well, um, they didn't exactly deploy. Okay. Did anyone see the parachutes deploy? Because now they're set to closed again. Oh, resource processing station. That would be a good one to hit. I gotta figure out how to land this thing, though. Um, yeah. 
it's really not so much the landing problem, it's that there's no landing gears. Uh, that's the part I'm not sure how to... Like, if I stop this thing, I kind of feel like it's just gonna fall over. And that would not be ideal. I'm almost wondering if I should just build a bunch of scaffolding and then add a merge block. I think that's what I'm gonna do, but I need to get it closer. Alright, so, um, not pretty, but I think it'll work. So basically all I did was just enough uh, steel to make scaffolding, to put a merge block up top so that we can connect it to one of these, and yeah, I think then we can shut off the engines and stuff, um, and we'll be able to make a bit more use of the actual materials. Mm. It's hard to judge distance and things when you're in a ship that's, you know, not at the right angle and all that kind of crap. Oh, that's the only problem. That engine sticks out more than the merge blocks do. Well, that's problematic. Okay, let's say, let's say we line it up. So let's say we do it about, give or take, about like this. Now I can tell you that from what, I, what I've seen, this ship will idle fine as long as it's fairly level without the hydrogen. Um, the atmosphere does level pretty, pretty well. It's the, um, it's basically the, um, the movement that you that you really need the hydrogen thrusters for. All right, so let me let me fix this because I want to basically bring it out. I could keep it this level, I suppose, but I kind of liked it up one. Um, so let's just bring it out a little bit because the problem, in case it wasn't obvious, was this. This is further out than the merge block, so it wouldn't really let it merge very well. Uh, that sh should be enough, I think. So let's go ahead and add that. I don't want to make it too close or else it's going to try and snap to it before I want it to. Alright, that should be good enough. Now, let's uh, let's try this out here. Oh, we only have three minutes on that. I, I might end up missing that one. Alright, um... Now, real quick, let's do let's do a sound off here, so we know which ones are which. Uh, so I want four. Merge four. We can turn off these. Grab. Hello. Whatever. Turn those off, and then we'll grab. Um, Merge block four, and add that there. I wasn't sure if I needed to attach it or anything. All right, we'll turn this back on and back it up and hope nothing breaks. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, now, thrusters, thrusters, let's grab uh, Atmo. And we'll grab all of these, put them in the Atmo thrusters group, and then we can turn all of those off. Like so. But we can also grab from here and add them to that just in case. Oh, nope, that was hydrogen. Atmo. There we go. Alright, now what is actually powering this thing? I didn't really even look at it too much. We have hangar doors, air vent, advanced rotors. What's the rotor for? Antenna, assembler. Good, all that's already off. Uh, backup reactor, battery. Perfect. Now, this is one thing I'm not sure about. If the battery here can actually transfer power um, through the uh, incomplete scaffolding or not. That's something I'm not too sure about. We'll go ahead and finish that off. Because this isn't really 
finished. It's just scaffolding, so it's not even up to the functional part. Um, this is pretty cool, though. I'd say that was a pretty good find. So we have spotlights there. Uh, I expected this to actually be on, like, an extendable piston or something, but I guess not. Um, it is on a rotor. Oh, that's what the rotor's for. Okay, so it makes the drills spin around. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. And then we've got the connection that runs up to the cargo stuff. Awesome. We actually got quite a bit from that. Now, uh, what I could do is run a... Uh, we could basically melt down or, or dismantle this um, small ship we were starting to build. And I could just run this connector up via conveyor tubes um, and connect that or you know something we could actually break this ship down we could keep it we could convert it to something else let me know what you guys think what should we do with our new uh, hijacked prize which I'm very proud of myself by the way because we actually hijacked something without a ship I just manually jumped on top of the thing and just took it over granted it took a couple times but hey nobody's perfect so you know patting myself on the back but yeah I'd say we did pretty darn well today. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. That's going to do it for us for this episode. We're going to wrap things up here. Hope you all enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, and I will see you all next time. Peace.